Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and welcome to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you seeds, Minecraft Xbox, and Minecraft PlayStation that are particularly unique and worth checking out for some reason. And this week's seed doesn't just have one reason to check it out, it has seven of them because it has seven NPC villages on one seed, which is crazy rare. Uh, I checked oh, almost a thousand seed over the past few days and only one of them has had more than six villages, the majority having one, two or even zero villages. So, seven villages on the same seed and on top of that, two of them are visible straight from the spawn and that's not where the greatness on this seed stops because it also has two desert temples, a bunch of above ground mob spawners and lots of other really cool things I'd like to show you in this video. So, please do like the video if you like it. As I said, I checked almost a thousand seeds to find this one and the seed, if you're wondering, is, uh, it might make, make you laugh, but it's actually follow I IBX Toycat 912. So that is the seed right there uh, on screen right now. As I said, like if you like it, and this is where you'll spawn in if you type in the seed on Minecraft Xbox 60, Minecraft PS3, or if you use the classic world size on the one or the PS4. So with that said, uh, you know it's a pretty nice spawn because if you look around, uh, it's it's plains biome, so you can get some pigs, get some sheep, and even find yourself some horses if you'd like to tame a horse, get that done nice and early. But it's a really nice spawn because it also lets you see two MC villages right from the bat. The first one, uh, if you want to head behind yourself towards the south of the map, is a pretty nice one to head towards. It has lots of wheat, lots of uh, potatoes, and it means you can get yourself some free food, get yourself some free potatoes, and also get yourself, you know, some free emeralds if you trade that wheat back to the villagers. Uh, it's a pretty nice village here, it has a priest, it has a lot of other cool stuff you might like, and uh, yeah, it's also next to a big spruce tree uh, place, just in case that's your thing. Uh, if it is your thing, if you like snow biomes, one thing that might be worth your time is heading back to the spawn, and heading back over to here before you go to the second village, because... This is an icy lake right here, and icy lakes are perfect for building on because uh, hostile mobs can't spawn on icy lakes. Meaning that if you were to build a house right in the middle of this place, not only would it look really cool being built directly on top of ice, but mobs wouldn't be able to spawn anywhere that wasn't land. So if you just lit up the land around the area, you could have like a really cool house done that way. That's just one of the ideas you can do with the seed. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, also, in this icy area, you can find some floating snow just over here, something you might want to leave around just to confuse people, as well as some floating sugar cane that I accidentally knocked down. But it's something that is there sometimes and is worth checking out um also around here we have a little cave just over here you might wait up uh, just over here that you might question the benefit of so these corners just here just to the right of the spawn you might question the usefulness of this cave but if you head into the cave it's actually an abandoned mine shelf right you know from the uh, you know above the spawn right there i mean you can get here within literally 40 seconds of joining the world i think it's a pretty cool thing you can do and of course there's a bunch of things you can explore this place for but you know right now isn't the time to show you that stuff but if you want to find some cool stuff right from the spawn here's where you have to go to do that so on top of having a really nice icy lake and an embassy village, of course there is the second embassy village near the spawn, which is actually a sand village or a desert village, depending on how you want to call it. And this one also has its own, uh, you know, little temple thing here, which means you can get one of these villages. And these offer you tra uh, trades which have, uh, you know, like the enchantments on them, like you see here. But they also offer you trades which have cool things like IF Enders, like uh, you know, glowstone. And there's a bunch of cool things you can get earlier on the game than you probably should do by trading with those priests. So that's why the priests are great. That's why this whole area is great. And this is the second second MC village. The other reason that this area is great is the well in the middle. So kind of like on the pocket edition where beneath the wells you'll find, uh, you know, the strongholds. This is actually, wait, I think it's one of the other blocks here. Uh, if you dig underneath this uh, well, in this well, so let's just pick that block back right there, uh, what you can actually find is, uh, so you break the blocks from down here, and then down to here, what you'll actually find, if you break down for enough layers, is that you'll find yourself in the stronghold of the world. So you just uh, head from here, across to here, and you see this staircase and this opening just over here. I don't know why this stronghold is just merged with the cave, but for some reason it is, and on top of that, if you just head through the stronghold, uh, take a left turn here, run through here, and then head down another pair of stairs, what you actually find is that soon into the stronghold, you found yourself the end portal. So, in case the end portal is your thing, here is the room with it in. Of course, this is the only selfish spawn in the world too, which is always cool, and that's just a cool thing about this place. So let's just break our way out of here by flying up, and let's show you the other five NPC villages as well as a bunch of the other cool things this world has to offer. So, yeah, uh, just head below the well and you'll find the stronghold that early on. So, the third NPC village is almost as close to the spawn as the other two, uh, being just across here over the way. So if you look on the map, it's very close to the south, and here is the third NPC village, as you can see. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it's on a tiny bit of a hill, so you get some slightly taller buildings. Like over here, you can see that building's quite tall. You get this really pl uh, tall planter, and it's basically just another source of wheat, of carrots, of uh, emeralds and stuff, which is always a great thing. There's also caves underneath the place, a few villagers to trade with, and, you know, just generally, you know, cool experience, which leads you to the fourth NPC village. So, um... 
This fourth NPC village is also a desert one, meaning you've got two of each right now. And, you know, it's a cool area. You can get yourself, again, just get yourself some wheat, get yourself all these general things that you want, as well as, you know, more villages to trade with, more potentially really great trades to get. And that's what's great about having so many villages is... If you wanted to, you could even link them up. Also, you've got yourself another one of these uh, churches just here. So another priest to trade with and potentially get what you want. And finally, if you head to this fifth village just over here, we do have our first blacksmith chest. So unfortunately, there aren't that many blacksmith chests in this seed. But, you know, we do have one here. It has an iron pickaxe. It has three golden ingots. And it has a golden apple, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, the main thing about this seed is just the villages you get from the villages. So, yeah, uh, this uh, this blacksmith chest here, this village here, also has a librarian, which will buy sugarcane off you for emeralds. And Another really, really easy opportunity to get yourself some emeralds, uh, as well as, you know, wheat, as well as carrots, all the things you generally accept. And also, as you can probably see, you've got the Desert Well just over here and the Desert Temple just over there. So, Desert Well, really rare, one in a thousand chance, uh, you know, to spawn. And then we've got the Desert Temple, a, a great chance to get yourself some emeralds, diamonds, all that sort of stuff. So, I'll just head in here, just to, oh, I just blew it up. So, assuming you don't blow up, you've got diamonds, you've got gold, you've got... <laughs> all the things that you can potentially blow up if you accidentally fall on the pressure plate. So, yeah, that's uh, what you have here. Make sure you're safe when you go into your desert temples, and then you don't have to lose your diamonds. So, with that said, we head to the northwest. Uh, there's a little bit of a forest here you can head through if you want to, uh, but there's also a big plains route there, which means you can also get yourself even more cows, even more horses, even more sheep, etc., uh, as we head towards the sixth NPC village. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why uh, 7 MC Villages is such a big deal, uh, there's so many MC Villages that try to spawn on 360 Worlds, but recently more and more of them have been failing. So every time you see one of these, this is a failed MPC Village. Uh, so yeah, like in, in a recent update, it's just been failing more and more and more, and it means finding, you know, 7 really, really did take me a while. So yeah, if we just head up to here, then we'll find the 6th MPC Village. So it's another desert one, a bunch of desert MPC Villages just here, and uh, it's a pretty small one, but it's a pretty cool one in my opinion because, you know, even more opportunities to get the food. It has a butcher just here, which is nice. It has a priest. It has all the professions, even though it's such a small village, and that's why it's one of my favorites. I, just, I, I like unique villages, and it also has this thing just here, which is a, a good way to trap villagers in if you want to do that, and just, you know, look at them, say, ha, you can't get out, but I can. So, uh, that's what's off, also on offer here. Finally, you probably saw it before, but the 7th NPC village is way up here in the north. Another priest. Again, these aren't meant to be spawning in every village. They're meant to be like a 40-30% chance, but we have them in almost every village here, meaning you get so many priests offering you so many things. Not always just redstone, <laughs> in this case. We also have this village here, which is pretty cool because you get the house that's like that tall, for instance. Uh, I think over here somewhere we've got a planter that's pretty tall. Uh, just another pretty cool village, and it's very, very close to the edge of the map. So if you ever expanded your world, you could totally just, you know, expand this with it and make a really cool pathway going wherever you want it to really so that's what the north of the world offered that's what the seventh npc village offers and hopefully you know all these villages are cool to you if you really wanted to go crazy you could combine them all but that's just one of the offers but uh, as i said before this uh, villages aren't the only place this seed is awesome because it also has a bunch of other cool things. So, for instance, next to this village over here, you know, the one I quite liked, uh, those corners just over here. If you head, if you head down at these corners, you'll end up in a spider spawner. So, uh, the spider spawner, of course, gives you a name tag. Of course, gives you a saddle, all the things you expect, and also some XP if you want to just break the spawner. But it also has, if you head further down the cave, access to a pretty cool ravine. So, uh, just heading down a little bit next to the village gives you a spider spawner and a ravine, which has gold over there, has lava, water everywhere, and just a pretty cool place to explore if that's your sort of thing. As you can. See it's a pretty big ravine. Uh, I'm always a big fan of seeing that. So if we are to head out of this uh, place and into another place, let's just break up again. It's, it saves a lot of time. Uh, we'll show you the rest of the seeds. So uh, I mentioned there was two desert temples before. If we head over towards that, you can see there is one there. But on the way, you can actually see there are two zombie spawners very close together, both at the surface, which is really cool in my opinion. Uh, this first one over here, inside the chest has a golden apple which is super super rare it used to be really common in a previous update but they made it super super rare again it has uh 13 it has another name tag horse armor and then this one of course has just uh, you know lots and lots of iron some cat and another name tag so uh free stuff literally you don't even have to go underground in case that's something you don't like and then also over here you got yourself some more iron you get yourself a saddle some horse armor just really great stuff for literally nothing and also free xp if you break the spawner uh just over there if you want to which isn't a very smart idea but you can do it if you feel like you know, being like me. <laughs> and uh, also, you can head to this final uh, desert uh, temple just over here. Really great place to potentially find yourself some diamonds. And just in case you broke the first one by accident, it's a way to not have that happen. And 
the the uh, apparently it's not the game just loves proving me wrong <laughs> with the, but yeah more chances for diamonds more chances for gold more chances for enchanted books and make sure there aren't zombies in there because they will ruin your chances for all those things that's kind of sad actually but yes yeah, so hopefully you have enjoyed the seed this is the bulk of what is going on here there's a little bit of uh, you know a plane stretch here which i think is pretty cool because you know it's like a hidden plane spam in the corner of the world you think it's all snow but it's also a nice place here to set up a, a place if you want to corner of the world just you know retreat to head to while also having access to horses and cow stuff i think this place is great uh, there's a failed npc village just over here the desert well you see all the time and yeah uh, not desert well just a regular well and yeah, I really like this seed. Seven NPC villages took me a very long time to find, but it's also a very nice seed otherwise, with the icy lake, with the cool stronghold, with the abandoned mine shaft right next to the spawn, and just all these other cool things. Hopefully one of those things uh, piqued your interest. If it did, please do like the video if you let me know. Share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I do Seed Sunday every single week, as you can probably guess from the fact that it's called Seed Sunday, and I also do a bunch of other cool videos that if you play Minecraft console, I'm sure you'll like. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.